Have you ever wondered how hard it is to eat 5,000 calories of clean foods? Exactly. I had this brilliant idea. So you see all these food challenges on YouTube and all these eating challenges, these 10,000 calorie challenges of people just stuffing their faces with fast food and pizzas and donuts. And don't get me wrong, like it sounds incredible, like when you talk about it, but once you start doing it and putting all that nasty food into your body, you instantly regret it, right? So today, I'm gonna do a little social experiment. Is it a social experiment? I don't know. I'm gonna see how hard it is for me to eat 5,000 calories of single ingredient foods. So what does that mean exactly? That means that the ingredient label can only have one item. That's rule number one. Rule number two, is that I have to consume 5,000 calories of single ingredient foods. And rule number three of this challenge is I cannot repeat any of the food choices. For example, for breakfast, I'm gonna have six whole eggs with a crap ton of oatmeal. But eating that meal is only going to consist of eggs, which is there's no other ingredient in the eggs besides the egg. Oats is just going to be your steel cut oats. No sugar, no brown sugar cinnamon, no raisins, which I guess I could do raisins because those are single ingredient food, but those aren't really considered clean. So when I say clean foods, Obviously, anything that has a single ingredient is more than likely going to be more of the healthier option than you, anything processed that you're going to put in your body. So technically, I could put sugar, since it is one ingredient in one of the foods I'm eating today, but I'm not going about it that way. So for, like for meal one, I'm about to show you guys six whole eggs, crap ton of oats, some blueberries, maybe some, some cinnamon just for seasoning. plan is to eat one meal every three hours. So if we can get a thousand calories every three hours, that will accomplish my goal for the day. I don't know how this is gonna go since I've been done with my bodybuilding show. I'm still only at like 2,500 calories total. So I'm basically doubling my daily caloric intake for you guys today of all these clean foods. A good job of trying to digest the foods as well. We're gonna be very active today. I plan on doing a lot of yard work. I plan on going for a lot of walks, taking Milo for walks, going on walks with my wife, mowing the lawn. I have so much on my schedule today when it comes to the yard work. So hopefully I get all of it done. And uh, yeah, so that's enough yapping. Now we have to get to the eating and the cooking. So let's head to the kitchen for meal number one. All right guys, so I just weighed myself and I am 190.8 pounds. This is my physique we got going on right now. Um, but yeah, so 100. 90.8 pounds, so we're gonna see how much weight I gain from today into tomorrow, and um, we're gonna see just if eating healthy foods is the answer, right? I'm trying to put on as much size as possible right now, and to do that is, you, it comes with a lot of, um, you have to eat a lot of healthy foods. So my goal of this video is also to make these foods taste as good as possible. So I'm going to be cooking pretty much everything fresh. So for these steel cut oats here, if you guys have ever had steel cut oats on the stove top, it is a game changer. So much better than the microwave. So we are going to get the 
stove top started and boil some water. Just to show you guys the time we are getting these meals started at, technically not eating yet, but 8 a.m. Uh, where you're making breakfast to start this incredible refeed day of eating. All right, so for these oats, we're gonna do three servings of this. So we're gonna do 120 grams, which is gonna give us close to 90 grams of carbs, 450 calories, seven and a half grams of fat, 15 grams of protein. So let's get that measured out on the scale here. There we go, 120 grams of oats. Oats are done. Time the Pistons won a playoff game. I don't know. The one we went to, they did not win. That was not a playoff game. That they they broke the record for longest losses. Why would you bring that up? I, but that, that, they did something. They broke something. They did something impressive in some people's eyes. Alexa, when was the last time the Detroit Pistons won a playoff game? The Pistons last won a postseason game in 2008. 2008. <laughs> Beat the Celtics 2008. 2008, that was the year I graduated high school. Wow. That was the last time that this was That was the last time they were good. Obviously. Oats, I gotta get down. Eggs are done. <laughs> this is a lot of oats. It's, it's thickened up. Oats. That's a lot of oats. Wait, 36 grams of almond butter. 32 grams of almond butter, which is 190 calories. We have 450 calories from oats, and then we have uh, 70 calories from blueberries. I'd offer you a bite, but that'd be cheating. <laughs> I don't want <laughs> oh, I'm so full. I'm full after what I just ate. Mmm, dang. Uh, that oatmeal, I love oatmeal. And traditionally that would sound like you're eating bread, but I don't think it's good right now. Look at him! He's so tall. Look at those legs! 
Look at that. Crotches, my own crotches in my face. <laughs> Half my amount of calories for the day. So by 11:30, I eat my next meal. So by 11, I gotta start cooking it. So another a big key component of the day today is I'm gonna drink at least two gallons of water just to get everything flowing through my system and stay as hydrated as possible. I'm eating clean foods, so it's gonna help with hydration. But just to um, make sure my digestion is running, I'm gonna here to drink enough of this. I have three scoops of electrolytes in here with three scoops of citrulline just to help with blood flow. So always remember to stay hydrated. last three hours I've been doing yard work, putting together furniture for, the, for our backyard patio, and it's taking a long time. However, I did work up an appetite. I am actually very hungry right now, so I am excited to have this next meal. Isn't that right, Brad? 150 grams of 99% lean ground turkey with a pack and a half of the Trader Joe's organic jasmine rice. It's just cooked jasmine rice, so it's going to be 400 grams of that after I microwave it, and then one whole avocado. Stay tuned. Here is we have 125 grams of cooked 99% uh, lean ground turkey. We have 400 grams cooked of organic jasmine rice. And then we have a whole avocado in here. So I'm gonna guess this is close to 1,000 calories, maybe a little bit more. So let's see how this digests and uh, see how long it takes me to finish this. Also, I've never done this before. I've never really even really done an actual refeed, I guess. Um, my coach is very strict when we're in prep. We don't really change much. We don't carb cycle. Um, he's really big into the fact that he wants to keep my digestion the same, eat the same foods at the same time every single day, same quantity, blah, 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 blah. So that's why I am doing what I'm doing today, just to see how my body reacts. So the protein amount in each meal is gonna stay exactly the same that, I'm, that my body is used to. So right around 40 to 50 grams of protein per meal is the goal. Um, nothing too much higher than that, because we really want to focus on digestion today. We, we don't wanna be sluggish. Like I said, we're doing kind of like an experiment here. Um, I'm gonna eat 5,000 calories of clean foods, single ingredient foods, and then in the next video, I may eat 5,000 calories of dirty food. What does that mean? That can mean anything I want, but uh, we're not there yet. Today is all about eating the clean, single ingredient 
foods. What a gorgeous day out, and that means for meal number three, we are out here on the grill, grilling up some, grilling up some chicken thighs. I'm actually looking forward to this meal. I don't know if I'm looking forward to the 500 grams of sweet potatoes I'm about to eat, but uh, definitely looking forward to some barbecue chicken thighs. schedule 248 and meal number three has got to go down all right here we go with meal number three um, not hungry at all so this is going to be a little bit of a challenge but the good thing is it's chicken thighs with potatoes and cashews so a little bit easier to get down so I brought down this organic unsweetened ketchup technically not one ingredient, but I'm technically not using the calories in any of the in condiments anyways. So if I was to use this for desperation for the fries, I will. But that's not that just in case I need it. Chicken thighs are so good. guys time to eat meal number four as you just saw it is uh, organic brown rice pasta I did three servings of that um, so that's like 125 grams of carbs um, and I did 115 grams cooked of the 93.7 lean ground beef and then I also added 28 milliliters of uh, olive organic extra virgin olive oil and here it is it, it actually doesn't look, look like that much food and i'm kind of excited for it because i never have pasta especially with like with like ground beef like this but um but yeah so so far so good i'm i'm working my butt off outside i'm sweating i'm hot i think I'm gonna, i might even take a nap after this but uh i've been very active today and i feel like my body's recovering well and like I'm not like as sore as I would normally be from doing all this work so uh yeah so stay tuned I'm gonna eat meal number four here I'm not gonna I'm not gonna film this one but um I'll let you know how the meal is in the next part of the video all right last meal of the day is on the grill we have um ribeye steaks so I'm gonna eat a whole ribeye steak and then I'm gonna have 450 grams raw weighed uh, red potatoes and one banana and that will give me 5086 calories I think it is but um, I will have all the totals in that at the end of the video for you guys just to see exactly how I did but overall 
It hasn't been bad. Like I said, I've been active all day and I've been outside in the sun, so I kind of worked up an appetite, um, sweating and doing all the yard work. So uh, it hasn't been bad. Like I'm actually still hungry. Like I'm actually excited to eat the steak and potatoes. So gotta finish strong with the steak and potatoes, baby. Last meal, got about 200 grams of ribeye. About eight, I should say about eight ounces uh, pre-cooked. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red potatoes, which is 450 grams um, before it was cooked in the air fryer. And then I have this medium-sized banana. And that is gonna be the last meal and the last about 1,000 calories a day. The steak is absolutely incredible. And stop eating it. The easy part is done. Good morning after. I slept incredible, but I woke up sweating probably from 6,000 grams of carbohydrates, 175 grams of fat, and over 5,000 calories. But, like I said, I slept great. My energy level is phenomenal. So I'm doing 40 minutes on level five of the Stairmaster. And that's gonna be it for today from an exercise standpoint, because it's a rest day. So far, a little bloating issue, but you see how much I'm sweating. So we're getting a lot of that water off. We're gonna have a great day.